The unsexy truth why good hygiene matters in dating over 50. You've been dating this great new person for a few months. Things are going well you connect on many levels. The chemistry is fire, and you can see a future together. But then, you start noticing some not so fresh habits. They're not shaving as regularly, they skip showers before bed. And you've caught them clipping their toenails on the couch more than once. What was once a pleasant, musky scent is now undeniably, ripe. Suddenly, that new relationship thrill is quickly declining. We've all been there getting comfortable in a relationship only to have poor hygiene rear its unsexy head. And it's not just a dating deal breaker, good hygiene is crucial for any healthy relationship, whether in your 20s or over 50. Hygiene becomes even more critical as we age for physical and mental health reasons. Let's dive into the key reasons why keeping clean should be a top priority after 50. Number 1 Physical Health Risks of Poor Hygiene Older adults are more susceptible to infections like UTIs. Yeast infections, rashes, and fungal issues in areas lacking proper hygiene. Body odor tends to become more intense and challenging to mask as we age due to hormonal changes, such as decreased estrogen. Our sense of smell is also dull, so we need to be made aware. Poor dental hygiene drastically increases the risk of gum disease, tooth decay, tooth loss, and chronic bad breath as we age. Keeping clean helps prevent transmission of viruses and illnesses like flu and COVID-19 that hit seniors harder. Freshening up with bathing slash clean clothes prevents irritation and breakdown of fragile skin. Good nail care prevents ingrown nails and fungal infections under the nails. Number 2 Hygiene Horror Stories I started dating this tall, blue-eyed, hard-working, friendly man. However, within a few months, we only saw each other on weekends. He never showered before bed but sprayed cologne all over his chest instead. His breath was awful in the mornings and he requested sex. And he farted all the time next to me without acknowledging it. Got another date who seemed like such a catch at first. But as time went on, his grooming declined. He'd hardly ever shaved any more when we were together, but he would do it wherever he saw his friends. The final straw was when he cleaned his toenails in bed, leaving nail shavings all over the sheets. I started finding excuses not to get intimate. Number 3 Mental Health Effects Poor hygiene can be one of the first signs of depression or a deteriorating mental state in older adults. Those struggling with mental health may lack motivation, energy, or the ability to bath groom themselves. Letting yourself go and neglecting your grooming promotes lower self-confidence and self-worth. Taking pride in your appearance at any age is linked to higher self-esteem and a sense of purpose. Good hygiene provides a sense of control that's psychologically empowering as we age and face more vulnerability. Bathing grooming routines give a structured dot and accomplished feeling. Signs that hygiene habits require more support, missed bathing, unkempt appearance, body odor. Number 4 Impact on Relationships Would you want your partner to stop making an effort with their hygiene? You deserve their best. Poor hygiene kills intimacy, body odors, bad breath, and unkempt grooming are major libido killers. Basic respect for your partner to keep up with daily grooming, bathing, clean clothes. Keeping attraction alive requires maintaining the habits that drew you together initially. Good hygiene conveys you still care about appealing to and respecting your partner. Having different cleanliness standards is okay, but consider your partner's preferences. Open communication and willingness to improve are critical when hygiene slips. Number 5. Relationship Ripples 
Some friend of mine started dating a few years after her husband passed away. At first, we were so happy to see her put herself out there again. But then we noticed John never seemed to bathe or change his clothes for their dates. She even told us that he sleeps with his two dogs on his bed next to him. The relationship didn't last long, John's hygiene was ultimately disrespectful and turned off. Another friend's story, his girlfriend's hygiene went downhill fast within a year of moving in. She started showering maybe once a week, refusing to wear deodorant, and leaving piles of dirty clothes and plates around. He felt like a maid constantly having to nag her. The whole place reeked, and it was such a turn off intimately. We're both in our 60s, but her behavior was lazy and immature. He had to put his foot down or move out. Number 6, Maintaining Good Hygiene Over 50 So, how do you keep good hygiene strong for over 50 years and avoid these nightmare scenarios? Make hygiene routines non-negotiable stick to bathing, dental care, and grooming schedules. Keep supplies visible and accessible with written reminders if needed to stay on track. Older skin needs extra care, use loofers, dry brushing, and moisturizers to prevent odor. If mobility is limited, invest in tools like grab bars, shower stools, and long-handled brushes. If tasks become difficult, get assistance from family or consider a home health aid. It's okay to gently remind your partner if their hygiene slips do it out of love and concern. Make hygiene routines an opportunity for intimate time together. Number 7 Oral Hygiene Essentials Oral health is easily overlooked but essential for overall hygiene, especially for seniors. Brush twice daily for two full minutes, floss once daily, set timers as reminders. Use antiseptic mouthwash to kill bacteria and fight dry mouth. Get annual dental cleanings to remove hardened plaque. Clean dentures thoroughly each night if applicable. Replace toothbrushes every three to four months, sooner if using electric. Drink plenty of water to avoid dry mouth. Avoid smoking and limit alcohol, which causes staining and oral odor. Carry breath mints or spray to stay fresh between brushings. Number 8 Grooming Glow Up Excellent grooming doesn't stop but good hygiene up your game with. Using high-quality hair products like thickening shampoos and conditioners. Weekly deep conditioning treatments to boost hair luster and manageability. Coloring grays regularly for a more youthful look. Indulging in regular mani slash pedis to keep nails tidy. Getting regular haircuts and style trims every four to six weeks. Trying anti-aging skincare regimens and spa treatments. Using makeup to enhance features and give a radiant look. Keeping brows and facial hair neatly groomed. Smelling friendly with colognes and perfumes, not overdoing it. Number 9. The Bottom Line. Aging doesn't have to mean letting go of essential grooming and hygiene. Good habits are more crucial than ever for your physical health, mental well-being, self-confidence, and relationships over 50. While getting complacent is easy, a little consistent effort goes a long way. You owe it to yourself and your partner to make hygiene a priority. Looking and feeling your best shows you still have that spark don't let it fizzle out.